Our second award this evening is for Global Media Leadership, and the award goes to the South China Morning Post, which is a leading global news company that has reported on China and Asia for almost 120 years. Founded in 1903, the South China Morning Post is headquartered in Hong Kong, where it's the uh, city's newspaper of record, but also has a growing correspondence staff all across Asia and even here in the United States. The South China Morning Post vision is to elevate thought and with a mission to lead the global conversation on China. The South, uh, well, excuse me, with award-winning journalists, editors, visual artists, photographers, and videographers, the South China Morning Post is no longer just a newspaper published daily, but a provider of news content 24-7. In news, its news teams are using emerging digital technologies to create innovative ways to tell Asia's most important and compelling stories. Against the backdrop of today's shifting information discovery and news consumption behavior uh, by the public, the South China Morning Post is reaching people over a variety of different platforms, including its own website, scmp.com. And by the way, it has a free app so that you can access the newspaper for free, unlike some of the newspapers here in the United States where you have to subscribe uh, to get onto the internet site. But it also has a smartphone and tablet apps social media and messaging platforms, as well as its flagship newspaper. Additionally, the South China Morning Post publishes a portfolio of premium lifestyle and fashion titles in Hong Kong, including Cosmopolitan, L, Esquire, and Harper's Bazaar. Here to accept the Global Media Leadership Award is Ms. Tammy Tan, the editor-in-chief of the South China Morning Post. Tammy. Good evening. The Honorable Ambassador Gary Locke and the Honorable DCM and Minister Li Keqing and Chairman Chi Wong, distinguished guests and friends. First of all, I must thank Ambassador Locke for all the nice words about SMP. Um, also thanks to Chairman Wong and the US China Policy Foundation for hosting such a wonderful event. It's such a great pleasure for me to be here with you and I'm much honored to accept this first Global Media Leadership Award on behalf of the, Ch the South China Morning Post. I was checking with uh, Ambassador Locke. Um, actually, I got the chance to interview Ambassador Locke back in those years when I got the chance first visited Seattle, the beautiful city, at the time when Ambassador Locke was the governor of the Washington State, welcoming the Chinese president's visit. Time flies, but time also could make magic. At the time, I could never imagine that one day I can be here receiving this, receiving this award from the ambassador. So um, time made magic for me and the South China Morning Post. And also, I'm continually impressed by the work the U.S.-China Policy Foundation has done to promote greater understanding between American and Chinese policymakers and the two peoples over the past 23 years. Ultimately, understanding is based on recognizing one another's perspectives. I mean, being in the media in the industry, telling multiple sides of the story for a balanced overview especially in the politically charged climate of the modern world, is central to our work at the SMP. We people in the media have the power to help people hear and understand the stories of those who are different from them, thereby enhancing mutual understanding across personal, cultural, political, and economic barriers. There's always more than one perspective to a story and we are doing a disservice to our readers if we tell them what they want to hear or what we want them to hear. So there's no doubt that we are facing a type of uncertainty, and we are also talking about this, uh, all this ongoing trade war. Um, so we also have this uh, all far-reaching ch change on this global stage, which makes conversations where we may disagree all the more important. 
Now more than ever, it is essential for media outlets to promote understanding, to humanize those who are different, and to unveil multiple sides of a story. For more than a century, well, actually, SMP just celebrated our 115th birthday last month. We have sought to be a media platform for everyone to engage in these conversations together, seeking clarity and truth. Our goal is to continue that legacy so that future generations will grow up in a world in which they can talk and engage in healthy, civil conversations as informed, courteous, friendly citizens, no matter which side of the Pacific they hail from. On behalf of the South China Morning Post, thank you so much for this award, which affirms and encourages us to push on with our mission to lead the global conversation about China. Thank you for your support, and we will continue to work diligently to elevate thought and promote understanding between the two great nations. Thank you again.